Three different ways to embroider onto a towel or three different ways to hoop. The normal hoop, mine's a brother hoop, so I've got a brother machine where you've got your screw. The dime magnetic hoop where you've got your bottom piece, your separator and then the uh, top piece. That's magnetic so that snaps onto that. Um, this is an older hoop so obviously it's a bit manky but you get the drift it's got the little um, like a furry bit at the bottom here to protect your machine whereas and then this one obviously the um, uh, sticky hoop where you put the stabilizer underneath if you really want to keep your hoop nice and clean you can use baby wipes or a sticky stuff remover to get all this excess stabilizer off but as you can see mine uh, are well used and uh, well sticky up with looks of it but yeah it all peels off that so if you get a build up just use your sticky stuff and move a baby wipe so first of all i'll do it with the magnetic hoop so what i do i've got my dime hooping mat here um you get your stabilizer so i'll just use a, a poly mesh for now you can use water soluble. I don't. I normally use a tear away to be honest with you, but that's me. So pop your stabiliser on. That's not cut to size. I've just cut some. I don't put my um, rulers on my dime hoops. They all come with these rulers. It's up to you. If you're doing a Mary Scott edge to edge quilting, you'll need to put your, your rulers on for her method of um, doing it. But I don't. These obviously these rulers obviously fit to your tops of your hoops what I tend to do is if you can see there I've used a sharpie pen or a dime pen and just marked my four points and again on the bottom but these are the rulers that you would adhere to your hoops every hoop comes with them the magnetic ones and the uh, sticky hoops come with them too so pop your hoop on as you can see now that is centralized with the sticky uh, sorry the hooping mat it's well marked. Pop your stabiliser on. Again, this is poly mesh like I said. You can use, uh, I, I do use tear away. Or you can use that fibrous water soluble. Here's the magic with diamond hoops now. Um, so, my towel. I'm not going to uh, make life easy, am I? This is a bath sheet. I'm in the UK, so obviously uh, towels are from the UK too. This one is an Asda one. And they asked my husband to get me a towel and he gets me a bath sheet, but we'll go with this. So what you do, what I do, is fold it in half, you see, to get your crease down the middle. Right. This is how to hoop it straight as well. Can you see what I'm doing now? I'm going to get this little bit here level with that bit of the hoop. And then that way, I know it's going to be straight. And then follow the towel up, down. My stabiliser's not keeping straight. You see, I could use the Echidna hoop station here. But I don't want to use too many gadgets in one video because I don't want everybody to think you have to buy everything. Right, can you see now? I've gone all the way up that line on the dime hoop mat. Again, I'm just feeling, making sure that's straight. Right, what I need to do now, hold that down like that. And gently peel your towel back. I've got things on my table. It would have been better with a, um, easier to do, to demo with a hand towel. But we're not here to make life easy, are we? Right, then get your top part of the hoop. Depending on how big your hoop is, this bit can differ. Hold there. Hold it down there, so you're not, and then push against the arm. And you can feel, this towel's quite thick, you can feel then the hoop snap. Right, that hoop now has snapped. You, could, you didn't hear it, but hear that? Right, it's not quite straight at the bottom there, so just literally, gently, just pull. 
until you can get your, your hoop. But try not to pull it too much to pull this out of shape. Right, that now is... That's level across the bottom and hooped. There you go. That is done. So if you just wanted to pull your stabiliser slightly, just pull your stabiliser and make sure you've got it on. Can you see how that's all level? No, you can't. There. See how that's level there? So that's hooped your towel. That's not going to cause any hoop burn or anything. You need to use the um, water soluble on top so you pile. You can either hoop this or I don't waste it. Cut it to size and just, uh, I was about to lick, wet each point there to stick it down. Depending on how dense your design is, now thick your towel is. Like I said, it's quite a thick pile. Um, you might need two layers. Can you see? It's that, this is a, the fine water soluble stabiliser. That goes on top of anything with a pile on. So that's for your towel. Now, if you're using the large hoop, if you so, I'll, I'll take a uh, magnetic hoop off as well. See there? You've got that little bit there. Right, you can either pull it, because it's a high, high piled towel, this. That will just pull off. But sometimes, if it's a really good snap, if you've just got a stabiliser, pull it down and then release. If you're using a really, really large hoop, the dime hoop, this is where this comes in handy. So, pop that on there like that. Snap that to one side and then you can pull that away and keep doing that until it snaps down if you've noticed no fingers no fingers trapped again that's hooped so like I said that goes underneath you peel that away do not be doing this you don't need to put your fingers underneath to get them trapped and if you look on the dive magnetic hoops it's got a little cutaway there so that doesn't want to go that side because you're going to be getting your fingers always make sure that goes to the end and adheres last so that is hooping a towel with the dime magnetic hoop so when you put these away make sure you put those together and that snaps so that's your dime magnetic hoop right. the dime sticky hoop same process that would go in the middle you need to be peeling your sticky stabiliser off, which is a feat in itself. These come with like a base, I've got it out somewhere, with like a base thing to it. Um, this is it. A little base thing to it like that to hold your hoop on. And then they come with... 25 of these self-adhesive sheets that you can purchase separately through uh, Michelle on the UK Machine Embroidery Supplies website. Uh, so dime do do re uh, refills or you can use filmoplast. I'm just trying to get uh, this peeled off. My nails aren't. That's it. You see? So these come in pre-sized sheets. This is 5 by 7 This is ideal to keep it to, as a workstation if you're doing the applique. So that's that. This is 5 by 7 I'm using again. So you've got your stabiliser. It's easier if you pop it underneath like that so you know you're going onto your hoop, underside. Loosely pop it on and then obviously just turn it upside down and go for it. If you want to then put your thing back on, your shiny side to it, that's ready. So you can leave, you can store that like that if you want. You can patch this up once you've embroidered as well. So once you've used your sticky, if you want to patch it up with some more filmoplast, just pop it underneath and you've got, you know, you're saving a bit of stabiliser. So again, pop that onto your work hooping mat. So you can see again the cross. You can see, I can see clearly there the cross through. Get your towel again, exactly how we did before. In half on this occasion now because we've got this little sticky bit you can go higher up so if you wanted I'll do it just for the camera to show you you can 
get it. Right. Hold that back. And then pull that down. That is your towel pulped with your sticker stabiliser. Again, it's the bath sheet I'm using, you see? That is straight. Again, water soluble on top. So again, add, to, add um, wet it to each corner, stick it on top. That's good to go. Couldn't be any easier than that, could it? It's stickier from that. That just peels off. If you can't peel it all off your project once you've done it, if you hold the damp cloth on the underside of it, so once you've embroidered on the underside of your work, hold a damp cloth on it, a warm damp cloth, and it'll gently uh, release the adhesive from the stabiliser. So it will help peel it off easily. So that's the dime sticky hoop. Right. This is your normal hoops. How you would do it until you knew what you were doing. So you'd, you'd put your stabiliser. You'd, again, you'd, now you'd find your middle of your towel here. So again, you saw with hooping mat. This is hooping a towel. The only trouble with hooping a towel is trying to get it straight. So this is before I knew what I were doing. So on your embroidery hoops, can you see you've got a little triangle there, that's the top, to match the triangle at the top of your hoop. Make sure that your hoop is completely open, because like this towel is thick. And then you need to press, like with any embroidery work. I'm getting some wally to that and it's not It will hoop eventually. But can you see the problem I'm having because it's thick? It tends to bounce back. Now before I knew what I was doing, this is what I used to do all my towels. And then tighten it up. And then you need to pull, pull slightly, but you can pull it out like I'm doing. Right. I'm not going to continue with that to take too much time. The only trouble with doing this is it holds it fantastic. You get what they call hoop burn. Can you see now how it's marked around with the hoop? So if you hold the steam iron underneath that, don't add it, don't iron your towel or anything. If you hold the steam iron, un iron underneath it, that hoop burn, it, you can steam it away. So when people say float, this is what this is doing. Hope your stabiliser. Again, the fibrous water soluble or a tear away. Depending on how dense you design it, if it's a plique, you'll get away with a tear away. A tear away. Hope your stabiliser. You will then wood spray adhesive 505 or filmoplast spray. Again, like we've done before with the dime hoops, half your towel again. So you've got a middle set. This is that's, that's providing you want your towel embroidery, you know, centralised on bottom. That's where they normally purchase them normally. Right, again, dime hoop mat, love it. Centred. What I've done again there is I've pulled that right at the bottom of the hoops. So I've got a central mark to keep it straight. That's it. That's hooped. However, what I would do then, because it's not as sticky as what you'd like it to be. You see, it is a bit pin. But be careful when you pin. Pin away from where it's going to embroider. So a couple of pins here and a couple of pins at the top here to hold it. And then you are soluble again. Just make sure you don't get these pins in embroidery field. So it is doable to do towels with a normal hoop. 
but it's a heck of a lot easier with the dime products but it just depends now how, how much you want to pay and you know how, how many towels or other things you want to do but it is easier as well doing applique with the dime hoops because you've not got this well with the sticky hoop as well you haven't got that lip so when you're doing that you've got that lip there so if you want to do applique on that you've got that step whereas obviously with the sticky hoop you haven't so I hope that throws a little bit of uh, light on how to use the dime hoops and the differences between them. Like I said before, you can use filmoplast on your normal hoops, but if you don't want them to get all manky underneath, what you need to do is get your filmoplast. Get some here for you. You hoop your filmoplast shiny side up. So you'd hoop that. I'm not going to do it now, but you'd hoop that. Right, then you'd get a pin score across across and then peel the filmoplast away and that way then you've got a stickiness but the, the dime sticky hoops are the way forward in my opinion because it just makes life easier <laughs> 